Tanks Vlog! June 30th, 2017. This is the wrap-up for the day in sports. I figure Brian Windhorst did it, so I could try to make the grand entrance. And what an entrance it was for July, for July starting off. The NBA free agent signing period, the trade period. It's starting off with a boom. Paul George, the Oklahoma City Thunder, following a couple days ago when Chris Paul was traded to Houston Rockets. And then you got big re-signings. Record deal for Steph Curry signing with the Warriors for five years, $201 million. And then you got the Blake uh, Griffin. He signed a big deal to stay with the Clippers. So you got some players staying put, some players on the move. And I'm sure you're going to see a lot more deals in the next couple days. Especially in the West, where teams are going to try to catch up to these Warriors. And hopefully make next season a lot more competitive than this last season was. I mean, I tell you, this season was a total disaster for the NBA. A total disaster. And then we get the uh, baseball today. Yankees had a nice performance out in Houston. I mean, they had that uh, bad night last night in Chicago where uh, Dustin Fowler broke his kneecap and ended his season. Uh, that de I mean, that devastating news. Uh, another bad loss, but they bounced back today. Big grand slam by uh, Brett Gardner in Houston to get that uh, series started right and on the right direction. And that's important because the Red Sox are playing terrific baseball at the moment. So they have to keep pace with the Red Sox in the American League East. The Red Sox now have the lead. Uh, got the uh, Rays who are playing decent baseball. So that uh, American League East is definitely tightened up. Uh, Central Division, the Cleveland Indians are holding steady in first place. Uh, had two games ahead of the Twins. Uh, their game was rained out today. Uh, and the Twins, uh, uh, unusually bad performance say by Irvin Santana against the Royals. Uh, and Washington Nationals, they got clobbered today by the Cardinals in St. Louis, which is opening the door slightly for the Mets. I mean, the Mets are still way out of it. They're uh, still five games below 500. But the Mets began a three-game series with the Phillies this week. And then uh, Jacob deGrom pitched terrifically. His fourth straight strong start. Uh, had a no-hitter for a while. 11 Ks. Uh, and the Mets uh, needed it because they only scored two runs against the Phillies. Uh, and then you have uh, out west, the uh, Dodgers. You had a uh, rare manager fight. I mean, uh, Dave Roberts and Andy Green, they looked like they were about to, to go at it. They had to have the benches clear. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing when the managers get a fight. So expect some uh, suspensions from that one. Uh, the Colorado Rockies ended their eight-game losing streak, beating the Arizona Diamondbacks. So now the Dodgers have a three-and-a-half game lead. And the uh, Rockies continue to hold the second wild card by a wide margin over the rest of the, uh, the National League. And the Padres and Giants are just way back there. Although the Giants... They've won four in a row since playing the Mets since that embarrassing uh, weekend last uh, week. Uh, so maybe they could catch the Padres and escape the last place uh, basement there. So uh, elsewhere, the uh, despite the loss, the Astros still have a 13 and a half game lead. And uh, tomorrow uh, is a big day. It's July 1st. And many of you will be waking up, but it will be July 1st. You know what July 1st is. It's payday! Yes, that's right! It's payday! Bobby Bonilla! Money, 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 money! Money! Money, 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 money! <laughs> money! Yes, that's right! The annual check of $1.19 million is... Getting transferred as we speak from the account of Jeff Wilbon to the account of Bobby Bonilla. All because he didn't want to pay 
five million in 1999, he has to pay 1.19 million every year until 2036. What a short-sighted move that was, but you know what? I call it the Bobby Bonilla pension plan. May we all be so lucky to have such a pension plan. I mean, come on. It couldn't be any better. It's the Bobby Bonilla retirement plan. He doesn't have to work another day in his life. And of course, when he was at the Mets, he didn't work a day in his life. <sighs> also, today is Canada Day. So all you uh, Canucks out there, happy Canada Day. It's a big one. It's 150 years. The 150th anniversary of the founding of Canada. So uh, have a nice uh, day. Uh, get some Molson. Celebrate uh, if you can find a rink somewhere, play some hockey, play some baseball, and uh, oh, Canada uh, today, sports encyclopedia. Uh, we take our birthday shout out. Our birthday shout out today is to uh, Carl Lewis, one of the all time great track athletes, a Jersey boy who turns 56. Today's three stars is Mike Flotwitzki, who had a no-hitter going into the ninth inning for the Atlanta Braves. Austin Barnes of the Los Angeles Dodgers, our second star, and uh, Brett Gardner of the Yankees is our third star. And uh, today's On This Date looks back at a red-letter day in sports, the founding of WFAN. It was 30 years ago on Saturday, July 1st, that at 3 p.m., WHN Country Music became WFAN, broadcasting sports 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and the first voice was Susan Waldman. Of course, she uh, did her, uh, oh my God, oh my goodness gracious! Roger Clement is in George Steinmetter's box! If she would have done that 30 years ago, we'd be listening to uh, elevator music on uh, AM dial right now. No sports radio. So it's a good thing Susan Waldman kept it together and gave a good update that day, and Jim Lampley followed it. And uh, ever since, it's just been growing. It's incredible. Without sports uh, radio WFAN, who knows? I mean, everything grew out of that. You had sports radio growing out of every station in the nation now. It's, it's all over the place, coast to coast. And it led to all this blogging, vlogging, sports, uh, sports websites, everything. And it all started 30 years ago today. So check out BarstoolSports.com for a full look back. You'll have my uh, daily look back at SportsEcyclopedia.com where sports history lives. Good day.